Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on Chris Hands on Questions. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started with the introduction. We will be using the accident data set. Below is the sample. Let me show you the CSV file. So this data has been taken from Kaggle and I'll give you the link in the description box. You see we have ID, severity, start date, start longitudes, city, zip course, country, temperature, weather, humidity, extra other parameters. Okay. Now let's go to our question. We'll create the output files for each time zones with total accident data. So in short, we have to group the accidents based on the time zones and output them as separate files for different regions. Now let's move on to our alteryx. First thing which we have to do is input our data. So we'll bring the input tool. We'll set up a connection to select a file which is the accident data. So our data is loaded. To summarize based on time zones all the accidents will bring in the summarize tool. For ID we will just count the distinct ID and name it as number of accidents. We have to group it with our time zone so let's select our time zone and click on group by. We we'll bring in a browse tool to see the output. So we can see there are five records, one of them is null. So let's try to remove this null. We'll go to preparation, let's bring a filter. We can use a basic filter here for time zone which is not null. Let's check the output. So the true ones which we check it's having four records now. Okay. One more thing we will have to modify here is if you see the time zone has an US slash enter to it, so which is not very appealing. So let's try to remove that. So that we can use our filter tool again. Sorry, formula tool. We connect with the true inputs of the filter tool. We'll select the time zone which we have to replace, which is an in place replace. We can use function like regrex, regrex replace okay so first thing is to give that string which we want so our we have given the time zone as our string next would be the pattern in that we will give us slash this and we don't have to replace with anything so we'll give this okay and close this bracket so this is done for us and you can see the data preview it will give us us next we'll have to create the macro for that we'll create a new workflow as every input and output every workflow has an input and output so like that macro will also have a macro input and output so let's bring that so bring in the macro input here here you see it's a template input okay so we have to give some dummy data to specify what kind of data we are going to give to a macro okay so in this let me just give the column we'll give eastern as a column as a value for it as a template value since we are going to filter this data according to each time zones we need a filter tool we bring in the filter tool in this we can use a custom filter Just imagine how we will be doing for one record. Okay, so first of all, input we give, we do the filter. Next, we'll go to the output. Output data will connect to the true path. Let's set up a connection for it. So let's rename the output as accident eastern. The CSV file, save it. Okay, this is the method how we will set up for one. Now we have to recursively repeat it for our other three regions as well. 
for that we would need a control parameter. Let's bring it up control parameter. Make sure it, if, when you bring it to the screen it's not attached to anything. Now we'll attach this control parameter to the lightning symbol which we see it in our zone. Okay. We will create an action. So this action can have multiple things like update a value, update value with formulas, update a raw XML with formula. We'll go with the default which is to update the value. We'll select our expression Easter and we'll click on this replace string. So we need to replace this word Easter, right? So let's keep it Easter. Same for our output file, okay? We have to rename it based on the different regions. So let's again bring this control panel and click on this. Again, the update value will come. Let's click on this. In this case, the file name we will have to replace, right? So we have to replace the Eastern word in the file name. Okay, this is how we will be doing it. Next thing would be to save this macro, okay? After saving this, when we go to our system here, right? We, if we right click insert macro, we will be able to see our macro which are being created, right? So, let's take an example. This is our macro. Okay, sorry. This we haven't saved, right? I'll just show you how it so we bring in this right it will give us two parameters one is the control parameter one is the input parameter we have to give two inputs okay which is one for control one for input so since or our, in our case both are the region side so time zones we'll bring in two times one for this control another one for the input after assigning this again the questions will again have to assign the time zones for the control and the input as well okay after this is complete, we can run our macro. Now, let's see. We see four iterations were run and four files, Eastern, Mountain, Pacific, are created. Let's check out. Okay, so we have our four files created here. Let's check one file. So this is for Central and it's 488065 number of accidents. Let's validate it. In the previous step we can see, yeah, this looks correct now, right? For central, we had 488065. Thank you for watching.